After the massive deforestation of Costa Rica in the last half century, bats have had to adapt to new roasting sites. These include old buildings like the train station at Caldera. To include some history now, the Pacific Railroad of Costa Rica passed just along the Roque de Carballo, hugging the coast. It then went into the Miraflores Tunnel, built in 1910, which was shut down in 1925 and has since been home to hundreds of bats. One of the dozen or so species living here is the frog-eating bat. Small groups of these bats roost in old buildings, caves, road culverts, and hollow trees. And oh yeah, tunnels too. This bat is fairly common in forested areas of the lowlands, but not very common in agricultural areas and highland habitats. While this species eats a variety of food items, it's definitely a frog specialist and can even grab a frog on the wing. This Tungara frog seems to be more bothered by pesky mosquitoes rather than the real danger from above. These bats are able to distinguish the calls of bad tasting frogs from good tasting frogs. This brilliant forest frog was a tasty one. Frogs visually detect hunting frog eating bats. All frogs can quit calling within less than a second of a frog eating bat arriving at the pond. But this guy didn't get the memo. It's safer to eat at home. The frog eating bat lives from Oaxaca, Mexico south to Bolivia and most of Brazil. Those beady little eyes don't help that much to find frogs, but those huge ears are totally adapted for listening for frogs. In fact, its ear is shaped to pick up low frequency calls that are made by frogs. Sharing is not one of their better qualities. This large leopard frog is easily seen on a mud flat. When the frog's not calling, it's more difficult to find. Frog-eating bats even try to catch things bigger than they are. A staple of their diet is also katydids and grasshoppers, but they are also known to eat fruit. They clean up after dinner. Slower lizards are eaten too. Besides frog's legs and crunchy katydids, frog-eating bats catch and eat smaller bats. This unfortunate nectar bat got snagged on barbed wire and was quickly found by a frog-eating bat. Barbed wire is not good for bats. There is nothing appealing about those lips, but those warts are great sensory organs. Frogs have the big problem of having to call to get a good mate, yet calling gets the attention of the frog-eating bat. So it's sex or death. Tough choices. The table does turn. For example, this gray four-eyed opossum is known to feed on frog-eating bats. <laughs> 